We're going to practice rewriting rational functions using division, uh, just sort of looking at what the function could become and what it could not become as the values of x get really huge. So in other words, we're going to be writing these uh, expressions to rewriting these expressions to find the horizontal asymptote for each one. Now, really, the, the process here is just a matter of logic. It's just sort of thinking things through. So let's just take these one at a time and think them through and see what happens as x becomes really big. Uh, in our first example, a, we can see that as since x is in the denominator of this particular function, as x starts to get bigger and bigger and bigger, 2 gets to be divided by a larger and larger number. By the time we get to, you know, 2 over 1,000, say, minus 1, 2 999ths is not a very big number. And even if it becomes negative 1,000th, uh, we'd have 2 over negative 990, well, negative 1001, actually, uh, which is still going to be an incredibly small fraction. So whether x becomes a really big positive or really big negative number, this whole function, or in other words, the y value, gets closer and closer to 0, but never actually hits it. So our horizontal asymptote, horizontal asymptote, is 0 for this function. For our second one here, we need to uh, reduce this as much as we can. So we're going to divide 3x plus 2 by x minus 1. And using our long division, we need to find what it takes to make this term equal to this term. So in this case, we'd have to multiply by 3. So we'll put our 3 up on top. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. 3x minus 3x is 0, and 2 minus negative 3 is 5. So since we can't divide 5 by x minus 1, that becomes our remainder. So 3 minus, I'm sorry, plus 5 over x minus 1 becomes uh, what, what we get when we reduce this whole thing. Now, as x starts to get bigger and bigger and bigger, this fraction here gets closer and closer to uh, 0 because 5 is going to be divided by larger and larger and larger numbers. By the time you get 5 divided by 10 million, 5 10 millions is pretty small. So really all that we end up with here is the 3 as x gets bigger and bigger. So what this, fr this function approaches then is y equals 3 and our horizontal asymptote then is 3. For examples c and d, for example c we can do the long division again on this one. We'll do x minus 1 into 4x squared plus 3x plus 2. So it takes 4x times x to be 4x squared. So that goes up here. 4x squared. And 4x times negative 1 is negative 4x. So when we subtract, we'll get 7, 3x minus negative 4x is 7x. Bring down the 2. It takes 7 times x to get 7x. So this becomes positive 7. 7 times x is 7x. 7 times negative 1 is negative 7. So our 7s go away. And 2 minus negative 7 is 9. So we get y equals 4x plus 7 plus 9 over x minus 1. Now, as x gets bigger and bigger and bigger, what happens? Well, 9 over a bigger and bigger and bigger number eventually just disappears, because it gets to be so small it might as well be 0. The 7 stays, and the 4x just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So really, what we end up with here is an asymptote that's y equals 4x plus 7, which is a diagonal line. This is the linear equation. So this is an oblique asymptote, or a slanted asymptote, and the horizontal asymptote is this equation right here. And then for d, for d, because our value or our power up on top here is more than one power greater than the one on the bottom, we have an x to the third and an x to the first, this does not have an asymptote. There isn't a number that y approaches without hitting. So this one has no horizontal asymptotes. And that's easy to see, because, or easy to identify, just by seeing that the power on the numerator is more than one greater than the power in the denominator.